all of us true book nerds out there, just like total book trash nerds, have experienced the moment of taking off the dust jacket and that beautiful book within it. Most of us don't read with the dust jackets on, so it's really nice when the inside of the hardback is just as gorgeous as the dust jacket. So I just wanted to do a quick shout out to some of my favorite naked hardbacks. I haven't really seen anything like this on booktube before, but if you've done something like this or if you end up doing something like this, definitely leave a link to the video in the comments below because I love looking at beautiful books. It's it's kind of a guilty pleasure actually. It's the sort of thing where when someone walks in your room and asks what you're doing and you just have to say, I'm watching videos of people taking dust jackets off hardbacks for six hours. In no particular order, I'm going to start with George by Alex Gino. Not only is this book super cute, but, well, I was going to say the inside's cute. The outside's pretty cute, too. So it's got these three colors, which I just think is really sweet. This is a book about a transgender kid, so I think having multiple colors on it is really fitting. But then also, this part is so cute. Everything about this book is just, like, so small and sweet and pure. And in addition to appreciating the beauty, you should also read it. Next up is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Now, this book has a pretty nice cover in the first place, but I have to be honest, I was a little disappointed with the content, but I was not disappointed with this cover. Ah! Just look at it. It's got like the crown and the black and white and then like the gestures cap. It's, ah, oh, this is such a beautiful book. For book number three, I'm going to show you A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. A Thousand Nights is an absolutely gorgeous story. It's really like slow and rhythmic and poetic, and the book is beautiful. It's just very plain and has all of these stars and kind of magic-y dust, which if you've read it, you'll understand why that's significant. And then a splash of orange on the inside, which I think is nice. It's just beautiful. It feels really nice. I realize that you can't feel it because it's in my hand, but you should buy this book and just give it a rub. In nonfiction, I'm going to show you Carrie Hope Fletcher's book, All I Know Now. This book is so cute. Look at that. It just has all of these little doodles. It has the definition of hopeful, which is what her YouTube community is, and then it's got the little logo on the back. It's just so sweet with a lavender inside. And I watched a video where she talked about this, and these are actually her little hearts and stars, which is a really cute detail. I have to admit, with this book, I actually prefer the naked hardback to the cover. I understand why on the dust jacket they want a picture of her. It is an autobiography after all. But I really, really like it just like this. And last but not least, I'm going to show you a comic book hardback, which is a little different. Um, the Once Upon a Time comics, to be perfectly honest, are really not that great, but they look beautiful. They're designed to be Henry's book. I just love that it feels really leathery and old, and it looks like the book from the show, obviously with the extra title in it, and it's just really beautiful. Despite the content not being that great, it's really beautiful. Now, those are my favorite naked hardbacks off my shelf, but I did want to give an honorable mention to Carrie Hope Fletcher's second book. This one is a fiction on the other side. The reason I'm only including this one as an honorable mention is because the inside is pretty much the same as the dust jacket, but it's beautiful! Look at that! It's so lovely and I like that it's just printed on there. I love that it's matte. So many books do like the shiny covers lately, so I'm really enjoying the matte finishes. And it's got her little logo on the back. And that's it! I just wanted to quickly talk about beautiful books because that's the kind of book nerd trash that I am. I hope this video finds you well, I hope you enjoyed touring some of these and that I get to see some of your favorites, and I will see you next time!